Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold the phone. Wait a second. Nah, 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 you ain't gonna get that past me. What the heck is that? What the? Hold up, let me get a picture of this. I'm gonna enhance it. Okay, here I am with a picture. Man, I, I'm probably just crazy, but if I, if I didn't know any better, those, uh, those look like, wait a second, let me enhance the colors a little bit. Let's get some, uh, yeah, some contrast up here. Maybe take the brightness down a little bit, maybe a little bit more contrast so we can, oh my God. What are those? Ten thousand years ago, Calamity Ganon reared its ugly, ugly head for the first time. And I mean ugly. I mean, just, just look at the- Anyway, it tried to kill us. Tried to take our world. But it wasn't successful. So with the help of the Sheikah and the Divine Beasts and Guardians, we beat Ganon. But after ten thousand years of plotting, Ganon just kind of came back. But this time took absolute control of all the Sheikah machines. Every guardian, every divine beast. Well, except for Link's motorcycle. But, I mean, who knows? It could have been running around wreaking havoc before Link gets it back in the DLC. Anything's possible, I suppose. Anyway, once Link and Zelda defeated Calamity Ganon at the end of Breath of the Wild, it can be assumed that, since we see the strange Sheikah pillars, more on those later in the video, by the way, turn blue instead of the Ganon-possessed red palette, and the Divine Beasts stop acting so crazy after you release them from the other Ganon's controls. <clears throat> it can be assumed that Ganon no longer has control of any Sheikah machines following the defeat of Calamity Ganon. But, now that we know Ganondorf is coming back for Breath of the Wild sequel, I got to thinking, man, he already took control of like an entire machine army, complete with giant killer animal bots and laser shooting walking octopus thingies, and we still beat him. What could he possibly do worse? And then I saw this. What's up guys, Mask Nintendo Bandit here, and today I have a crazy theory for you that just might be crazy enough to work. Are you intrigued yet? Yeah, so am I. I'm so intrigued I'd like to get right into the video actually. And real quick before the content hits, I just wanted to remind you that I am a real person sitting behind a real computer. And it would be seriously cool if you were to hit like if you enjoy this content and subscribe for much more Zelda content to come. Also, that way YouTube will recommend this video to others just like you. Any whoosies, that's all I had to say about that. If you did end up liking my video or even subscribing, then thank you. You're the bomb. I look forward to seeing you next time. Anyway, thanks for watching, enjoy the video, and without further ado, here we go. Okay, so by now, you've definitely gathered that I am absolutely implying Ganondorf has built his own divine beast, and it is Hyrule Castle. Or at least, under it. Or in it. Or both. You know, probably both, actually. Let's look at this three ways. One, why would he do this? Two, how would he do this? And three, when did he do this? To me, the why is simple. As I already touched on earlier, Ganon has been beaten. I'm not just talking about the time and time again that Link and Zelda defeat the forces of darkness together, but we literally have beaten Calamity Ganon just recently, complete with his ultimate arsenal of the very weapons we used against him 10,000 years ago. In addition to this, he's currently a corpse. Or a mummy, like the Sheikah mummies we encounter in the game. One has to ask the question, what exactly can he even do in this state? I know, he could act like the other mummy boss in the DLC and just kind of fight you one-on-one, -on -one, maybe sprinkle a little malice in there, you know, spice things up, but I don't know, that seems a tad bit underwhelming, especially given Ganon's track record of his final form usually being Ganon, which again, we have already defeated. I think it's very plausible that Ganondorf would take things to the next logical level. Since the Sheikah machines are obviously a huge ally to have and make a big impact on the outcome of the battle, why not make a better one, a bigger one, a stronger one? Because hey, if your Ganon form ain't working out for you, why not make a divine Ganon? Okay, so how would Ganondorf go about building his own divine beast? Well, if we were to look at two things real quick, one of which is Zelda's journal found in the Hyrule Castle area. I believe this one I'm referring to is her research journal, not her diary. You know, not the one that's filled with her Link fanfictions. You can read that those pillars I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, the ones that surround Hyrule Castle, actually used to be buried deep in the ground. 
So deep, actually, that Zelda's entire excavation team couldn't find them, just knew of their existence due to Sheikah lore. So why is that important, you ask? Hold your horses, I'm getting there. The other thing to remember is actually quite obvious. You do know that all of the Sheikah stuff, and I mean all of it, came from under the ground, right? As in, there is a bunch of machinery down there. Who knows how much more may still be buried? The reason why I brought up Zelda's team's failure to find the giant pillars is to prove that there is a glaring possibility that the Hylians may have not, nay, probably have not, uncovered all the Sheikah technology that's been buried deep under the ground over the past 10,000 years. So, most likely, the parts and pieces and gears, screws, shafts, springs, cores, you know, this stuff that we farm up here all the time, that's all under the ground. Ganon would have more than he needed to build whatever he wanted, and it's already been seen that the malice pouring out of Ganondorf's body is pretty capable stuff. I mean, it does this, 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 and even this. All the other Ganons we see in-game are made of malice too. With this sometimes sentient substance just pouring out his body like the stuffing in my hot pockets, I think it's also plausible the malice could excavate beneath the earth find pieces, and build a divine beast. After the thing's built, it could even give it life. Like I was saying, this malice stuff is pretty freaking legit. Yeah, at least, you know, for uh, Ganondorf, uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, okay, so, we have why and how down pretty well, I'd say. But when would Ganon accomplish this? At what point in time did he assemble this giant divine beast? Well, this is obviously the one part of this theory that can't be answered for sure, because we don't even know how much time has passed between Breath of the Wild and the sequel yet, for instance, but I see only three possible answers to this. First up, he could have assembled the machine in the 10,000 year gap while he was busy studying the Sheikah technology and formulating his master plans already. The only reason why this wouldn't make too much sense is that he didn't use it in the events of Breath of the Wild. Secondly, he could have assembled it in the hundred year gap between Link's defeat and his reawakening, knowing Link would return and knowing he would need a big bad weapon. But again, it could be argued that he already had enough on his hands while doing battle with Zelda for that century long gap, and he also didn't bring it out in the battle with Link. The third theory is that he crafted the Divine Beast just now, after the events of Breath of the Wild and before the sequel. This one makes the most sense, as it feels like a natural progression following his defeat at the end of Breath of the Wild. Alright, I feel like now's a pretty good time to say, not to quote anyone here, but this is just a theory. Now, I happen to think it's a pretty good one given Ganondorf's previous obsessions with Hyrule Castle and his tendency to, you know, every once in a while have it float above a lake of lava. I feel like this would be a really cool addition to the Breath of the Wild world that would really shake things up. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe for much more content in the future. As always, keep the hype real and I'll see you next time. Peace!